What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Uh, this is episode 7, and in the last episode, we did some. Um, we, we figured out where we got to go for the story, and we also completed a few um, uh, side missions. In between episodes, I went and he I went ahead, and you can see it on screen now. But I went ahead and I done a bunch of missions in Mount Bristle, and we even ended up getting two uh, for the first time. Ended up getting two mem uh, two new members uh, of our exploration team, and um, we also ended up getting our explorer rank upgraded from bronze to silver we can now hold 200 items in storage 200 items and in this episode we're actually and because i did and when we get backlogged with um side missions like that uh i'm gonna do them off screen but i will show them on screen like i just did and um, and then into so that then most of the game uh, or mo most of the episode will be uh, story related. So anyway, in this episode, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna do story mode. We're gonna go to the waterfall and see what's for. Uh, see what for. Yeah, I can't talk today. And we're gonna see what's over there for us. So if you guys are excited for today's episode, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because your guys' support is greatly appreciated. Let's head in. Alright, my voice is gonna get a uh, My voice is gonna get a workout again today. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Alright. Time to get to work. Don't shirk your work. And three smiles go for miles. Alright. So. I probably have a bunch of money. In before we before we go. Yeah, see. I did a bunch of... Uh, I did a bunch of Mount Bristle stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still take these jobs. Just in the off chance that... Uh, just in the off chance that uh, they, I don't think they disappear after a while, but you never know. All right. Um, so the two members we got ended up being Doduo and Starly. The only problem with having both Doduo and Starly is they're both flying type, <laughs> or at least Doduo. Do, well, both of them are normal. Actually, both of them have the exact same typing, normal flying. All right. So, we can now store 200. Ha! Huh. Alright. Um. Hold on. Raises the IQ of normal type Pokemon like it most. I don't have. Alright, um. Just put some of these Pecha Berries. Okay, store. We also, actually. We also ended up getting some uh, TMs. Friends, confusion and eh. um, water type. Brown is for ground. Grass is probably for grass. Orange is for fighting. Sky is for flying. Okay. White is for normal, so I need like yellow. Drop IC. Enhances vision? Question mark. Uh. Yeah. So we ended up getting light screen and sword stance. Part of me wants to give sword stance to Steven. but I'm not 100% sure. We probably have a bunch of money now. Oh, no we don't. We only have 144. Never mind. <laughs> All 
What about you? You have orbs and TMs. You have vacuum cut. Vacuum cut? I know there's a move called Psycho Cut and Vacuum Punch. Never heard of Vacuum Cut. Alright. Anyway, we're gonna store all of our money. Alright. Now, if this waterfall has... If this waterfall tell, uh, tells me anything, we might see a lot of water types. Which is good for me, because we're our, I'm a Pikachu, because electric type. So, anyway. So this is the waterfall that supposedly has a secret. Yow! Why would you do that? That water's coming down hard. No! Shit! It's a waterfall. Try getting close to the waterfall, Chris. It's true. It's incredible. I can barely stay stand. I can barely stay standing near this deluge, and then I hurt myself. Good job. See, it's intense. If you were to fall under this waterfall, you'll probably be battered or dead. You know, like most people when they fall off a waterfall. <laughs> I don't think it'd be. I didn't think it would be pouring down this powerfully. This powerfully? It's powerful. Where should we even start looking? Oh, here we go. I'm getting another vision. What does he call it? Dimensional scream? Dad? Looks like Wigglytuff. That looks like Wigglytuff, actually. I saw something, but what did I just see? Huh? What's the matter, Chris? You had another you had another vision? This time you saw a lone Pokemon deep into this waterfall? And not only that, there's a hidden cave behind it? Hmm. But it looks like all that water coming down really heavily. Imagine if it was actually a solid cliff wall behind them. I mean, it hasn't. I mean, my visions haven't failed me before. If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. So, Chris, what do you think? Is there really something behind this waterfall? Are you really convinced that there's a cave here? I am positive. I'm putting my faith in you. Okay. We've only known each other for a how long? Like, four days? <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Yikes. No. I mean, okay. I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fall leap and fail to leap, though, at full speed, I'll be sm smooshed no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I'm doing it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. Ready? Let's go. Three... Two, one, now! And guess what? We live. Thought we thought we were dead, did ya? Ha! Alright. <laughs> but what is this? Yes, it's a cave! You're right after all. Uh Duh, why, 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 I mean, why wouldn't I, why, why wouldn't I lie? <laughs> Let's see what secret it holds. <laughs> Alright, oh, this is an actual, alright. Now, do I want to explore, oh no, it's grass? If you guys have peck or something, okay. I was gonna say if you guys have peck or something, now would be the good. Now would be. Oh, there could be water types in here. All right. Low tad. All right. Hey. Uh. I mean, sure. Team's already full. I'll send low tad back. Actually, I'm going to send Doduo back. 
so that then I have at least something different for typing. They got a whole... There's a bunch of different mods in here. Alright. Uh, we can't really stay... Do I have elixirs on me? I... I don't. Special band? Boost special attack. Oh! Oh, what is it I have now? That one, oh, that one increases all my stats to 20. Okay. Never mind. False alarm. <laughs> alright. Uh, alright, you know what? Let's head... Uh, let's head down the stairs. Are you serious? Tangla wants to join us? I mean... Uh, let's send Tangla back. Down! Floor two. Alright. Uh, doesn't seem to be anybody here. Ooh. Sleep. Why would you wake him? Steven! <sighs> Alright. I don't want to head... Okay, you know what? Let's just proceed. Third floor. <sighs> Steven, why would you do that? There's a Pokemon there. He's asleep. Where's the stairs? There's the stairs! Proceed! Fourth floor! Alright. Uh, some money. Good, good, good. That leads buttfuck no- <laughs> buttfuck nowhere. Uh, is there anything here? There's the stairs. Floor five. Okay, picked up some money. This music's pretty, pretty cool. Um, found the stairs. All right, sixth floor. Sir Skit, you can die. We got a grass gummy and a spurn. Spurn orb. Alright, you guys got that covered. Oh my god. What is this? I don't really want anything. I forgot about shops can magically appear in uh, in floor or can randomly generate within floors. I completely forgot that. All right, let's take you out. Thunder shock! Oh wait, how many thunder shocks do I have left? Eleven. Let's take you out. There's the stairs. Cool. Seventh floor. We must be getting close. There you go. Orb. Picked up the stun seed. Okay. Oh my god, where's the end? This is the 8th floor. Now I know somewhere in the game there's actually a floor in which there's like a hundred floors or something. Yeah. Oh, we're at the end! Awesome! Wow, look at that, Chris! 
Look at all the gems sparkling! Whoa, look over there. It's a gigantic gem. Out comes Deonce. Wow, I've never seen a gem this huge. This is amazing, incredible treasure. Everyone will be amazed if we take this back. Except he tried to grab it. <laughs> Steven, you know you just can't take things. If there's anything Indiana Jones have taught me is that you can't just take things like that. Nope, it's not budging. It's really stuck tight. Can you give it a try? I mean, I could. But I'm not... Really is stuck. It won't move. No, no good. So you couldn't move it either. But we can't just give up. If we try if we try hard enough, we'll probably get some sort of result. Some kind of result. I'm gonna give it another go. And then something happens. No. Oh! Not again. Dimensional vision screen thing. It's wiggly tough again. Oh. Steven? You should stop. Steven just happened. Just happened. Okay, hold on. He just so happens to push it instead of pulling on it. And... Here it comes. Wee! <laughs> Wee! This new ride at Disney Parks. Oh, that's the man. I would have fun with that. Where did we land? Hot spring? Huh? What? Where are we? Hi. Hi, hi. You two okay? You plopped down from nowhere. You just startled everyone. Uh, where are we? My thoughts exactly, Steven. This is the hot spring. A hot spring? Hi, Torkoal. Indeed, this is the hot spring. The hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster, have you a map? Map? Oh, you mean our wonder map. Yes, we have one. Unfold it for me. So where are we? There. There we are. This is the hot springs location. Oh, I see. The waterfall so is here, so hey, check it out. The waterfall carried us all the way over here. My goodness. It was the water that carried you all this way? What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea. We'll do that. Thanks, everyone. You mean Torkoal? Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Okay. Save completed. Mm, let me see if I got this all straight. Behind the waterfall, there is a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there is a gigantic gem. When you push the gem, it triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you were flushed off to the distant hot spring? Is that the gist of your report? Yes. It's really disappointing we couldn't bring the gem back. No, 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 no. Empathetically, no. This is a major discovery. But really? Undoubtedly. After all, the presence of the cave behind the waterfall, no one knew about that before now. Hold on. We saw Wigglytuff in there. <laughs> oh, I see. We made a discovery. Not really. It looked like Wigglytuff. <laughs> Come on. It's Wigglytuff. We know. That shape. I've seen that shape before. That shape, there's no mistaking it. It's Wigglytuff! It's Wigglytuff knew it all along. Their waterfall discovery is just amazing! The Guildmaster must be told! The Guildmaster knows. What's wrong? 
Oh, jeez. What's wrong? Huh? You're saying Wigglytuff may have been at the waterfall before? No, no, no. Empathetically, no. It's con inconceivable. If that were so, the Gunmaster wouldn't have ordered you to investigate the place, right? Maybe he wanted us to find the waterfall. Hmm. However, since you insist, I will confirm it with the Guildmaster. Hmm. But well, why would they want to spoil their own discovery? How strange. <clears throat> I should be used to it by now. These apprentices are... Uh, yeah, these apprentices are another strange crew. What was that, chat -tot? What? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, I will go confirm what you told me with the guild master. Please wait here. So, how did it go? When I asked the guild master, he mulled it over for a bit. Then he said, Oh, memories. Sweet memories. yum -ta. Then he... Then he danced around a bit, and then he said, Yes, yes, when I think hard, maybe I did go there once. And that's just what and that's just what the Guildmaster said. To sum it up, it's just as Chris suspected. He has indeed already been to Waterfall Cave. Oh, okay. It's kind of disappointing. We really thought we discovered a new place. I wish Wigglytuff had told us right from the start. The Guildmaster can be rather uh, erotic at times. Even when I can't even I can't, can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Well, it's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Erf. Ouch. I feel bad now. Had us go all got had us go through all of that only to find out. Oh yeah, guess what? It's been discovered, just not known. Known discovery. Uh, today was exhausting. I should get to sleep early. Uh, we went through a lot today. But you know what? It was incredibly fun. Sure, there was that huge letdown. But it was our first exploration. I thought it was going to explode from excitement and anticipation the whole time. It made me realize I made the right decision in joining an exploration team. One day, I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's the dream I have. If it ever came true, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. <laughs> but seriously, thanks. I can explore because of you, Chris. Yes. Be brave. Okay, yeah. Then we're going back to when he convinced himself. I'm the biggest chicken around, and even I managed to work up the courage. And it was all because you were with me. Seriously, thanks. Aw, Steven. Oh yeah, I, I know. You know, I was thinking, I noticed something about your dizzy spells. You've always seemed to be touching something when they happen. It's true. It's true. Oh, that time... That time it was after I touched the waterfall, and, other time was, and the other time was when I touched the gem. It's true. It's whenever I touch something. It's true. When we were exploring Waterfall Cave, after I touched the water. And after I touched the gem. <gasps> Discoveries! Steven has noticed something! It was always after touching something. When I touch something, I can see something connected to it. There's one more thing. When we rescued Azarello, you had a vision of the future, but this time you saw Wigglytuff going into the cave, right? So that means this time you saw an event that occurred in the past. I'm a fortune teller. In other words, if you touch something, you see its past or future. You must have some kind of special that's kind of special ability. This could mean something totally incredible. You could use it in lots of ways, not just for exploring either. The ability could be useful for many things. It's fantastic. It's true, but I doesn't really get the vision. But it doesn't mean I always get the vision. It could be useful if I had visions when I wanted, but. Hey, you two! The guildmaster wants to see you right away. Oh boy! Guildmaster, I have brought your team conquest. Uh, guildmaster? Hiya! 
<laughs> I don't remember the voice I gave Wigglytuff. I think it was like... I think it was like... Old and Grizzled? Hiya! Or something like that. Your team went through a lot today, yes. A lot, lot. But don't worry. I'm ex I'm keeping watch on your activities. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning to mount a full ex expedition soon. An expedition? Plus, the guild will, will, go so will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring our nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip properly. We carefully choose which guild members go on the expedition. Really? Usually, we would never, ever consider rookies to be exploration members, or expedition members. But you two are working so very hard. That is why we're making a special exception this time. We decided to include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. <laughs> really? No, no. You haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There is still time before we set out on, on the expedition. If you fail to do good work before then, we cannot. you cannot expect to be selected. I'm sure you two can do it. Try hard. Yes. An expedition team isn't this isn't it fantastic? My heart's still pounding all of a sudden. My heart is my still Oh be still my beating heart! Let's try our best and make sure we get picked for the expedition. Yeah! Be still! Team chapter six. Team Skull. The next morning. Oh, but Adam. It's oh, wait. I don't usually do that voice unless it's for something. Because we see that every day, so. <sighs> uh, um. We'll continue on for a tad bit longer. Just to see what goes on. Hmm. As I was explaining, there's a lake far to the east. There are many aspects of that lake that remains mysterious. We hope to unravel those mysteries. And so, our guild is planning to mount an expedition for the first time in a while. An expedition, you say? Yes, please. Yes, sorry. It's been a long time. Alright. Uh, precisely. We will depart in several days. Over the next few days, we will choose the most worthy apprentices. The chosen members will form the expedition party. Everyone, work hard so that you may be chosen for the expedition. Yay. Yay. Alright, everyone. Let's back to work as usual. Hooray. Yay. Fun. Woo. Ah, you too. Today, I want you to check the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board and handle their list of jobs. That'll do for now. Alright. Okay. Oh. Oh, you see who I see on the left side of your screen? How did they get here? So today so today they want us to work blah blah blah. Let's try to do as many jobs as we can. They'll have to pick us for the expedition party. Let's let's check right now. Look, those Pokemon. Hey! Oh god. You do. Oh, the duo. Wait, haven't we seen them? Yes! Literally at the beginning of the game, they fought us. Does, Steven? Come on. There are those two crooks who stole my relic fragment! What are they doing here? Well, ho ho I have you know we're an exploration team now. <laughs> what's so funny about what's so funny about an exploration team checking out the job bulletin board? What? You're an exploration team? That's right. Though the way we operate isn't always by the book. <laughs> but what a surprise! Why would you be here? We wanted to become exploration team members. That's why we were training at this guild. What? You wanted to become real deal exploration team member? You come with us for a second. But what is it? Don't, don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. You should just forget about being an exploration team. What? Why? Steven! No! Well, you're a timid. You're scared easily. 
I'm scared that a cat like you can't cut out an expiration team. <clears throat> Why am I not stepping in? I should be stepping in on this. But, but it, it's true that I'm timid. I get it because Tim is a nature. <laughs> well, that's why I'm in training, so I can overcome my own shortcomings. Even now, I'm working hard to be picked for the guild's expedition. Why, Steven? Steven, you're a dumbass. What expedition, you say? Heh, <laughs> well, effort only gets you so far. You won't get picked for the expedition party if you don't have talent, right? It all comes down to talent, pure talent. Sure talk a lot about talent, but what kind of blah, blah, blah. You sure talk a lot about talent, but what kind of skills do you have? You were so weak we even beat you. Whoa. We didn't have the chief with us. The chief. Heh, <laughs> that's right. Team Skull. Our exploration team has three members. Our chief is incredibly talented. Put it bluntly, he's brutally tough. Heh, <laughs> if the chief were around, we'd snap you like a twig. Whoa, speaking of the chief, I can smell him coming now. Oh my god, I've changed his voice like three times. Smell? Is it chief? It's. Skuntank. Uh. Move! Move out of the way. I'm gonna go like this. Huh. Oh, what's that awful stench? Eee, you freeze like rotten cheese. <laughs> My eyes are burning. Move it, or do you want to end up like that wimp over there? Chief! Hey, <laughs> you showed him, Chief, you're the best! Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, you two, did you sniff out any jobs that'll bring in the cash? The job bulletin board only posted cheap task, but. Something else, Chief. It's got the potential to go big. Psst, 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 whisper, piss. Piss? Expedition. What? An expedition from the guild? It does sound tasty. Doesn't it? Let's get out of here. We need to do some plotting. Come on, we're going. Oh my god, I think that voice is great for him. Where are you all standing at? This is in public performance. See, you're all wimps. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But man, I got so much stink. I got so much stink up my nose. I'm just like, ah! I'm like passed out on the floor. I'm like passed out on the floor. Great. Oh. Great. It didn't look like you were injured. No, I just have a massive, you know, rotten, uh, basically like five-year-old cheese stuck on my nose. But other than that, I'm fine. That sure was rough, though. I couldn't work up the courage to challenge him in his face. Even though I, he hurt you, I'm ashamed of myself. They're right, I'm a wimp. I'm a big chicken. You're not a wimp. Come on. You went through that waterfall. Thanks for cheering me up, but, but I really am a wimp. No, you're not. Steven, you are not a wimp. You're stupid, yes, but you're not a wimp. <laughs> well, it's nothing new for me. I've decided that I can still do my best even when I'm not very brave. I'm not going to give up over something like this. I'm going to be cheerful and keep trying. Yeah! That's the spirit! Just stop telling everyone what, what the guild is doing. You'll be perfectly fine. Alright. <sighs> Steven, I love you, but... Come on, man. Alright. That is... Okay. That is going to do it for this episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. In the next episode, we are going to do some. We're going to do some jobs. 
Uh, might I might do those off screen, or not? Uh, who, we'll see. Because we don't actually have a mission to do, I might just do side quests next episode. But stick around because you never know what we'll what we'll find. We might find more uh, team members. We might find uh, we might get a bunch of money. And who knows, we may have a story mission stuck somewhere in the middle. We don't know quite yet. So be sure to stick around for that. I've been Chris the Cast Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.